Mr. Letard, and you're watching the Cat's Eye News. All cats. Do you know Nova's hosting an amazing event open to all students? On Thursday, October 26th, during advisory, students are free to join a virtual Zoom meeting where college reps from historically black colleges, Howard and Spellman, will give information about your school and opportunities. If you're interested in attending, scan the QR code or see Miss Spring or Counselor Doug Farmer for more information. Also, the Black Student Alliance is hosting an academic fest in room 220 on October 24th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Showing up means that you will learn about different scholarships, programs, and current activities you can sign up for. So join them for info and snacks. Hey everybody, this is a not so gentle reminder that German Club is having its biggest meeting of the year, Oktoberfest, in room 247 after school today. Make sure to come tag along, it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey Novi, Astronomy Club is meeting on Thursday, October 19th in room 247. The topic for the meeting is stellar evolution, so if you're interested in astronomy, go check it out. Hope to see you there, Novi. Mrs. Moss still has seats available for the MSU Broad College of Accounting and Business Information and Technology Day on Friday, October 27th. If you're interested in going to business school, or especially if you're interested in majoring in accounting, this field trip is right for you. It costs $20 to attend, the bus will leave at 8.05 sharp on the 27th, and lunch will be free. Make sure you grab a permission slip from Mrs. Moss's room and room 218. It's first come first serve, so you're probably going to want to go right now if you can. Hey Wildcats, this is Neil and you're stuck with me because I'm doing Cat's Eye News. On Friday, October 6th, our school was put into shelter in place um, due to a threat that was found in a bathroom. Um, the, that situation is currently still under investigation. There's no denying that an exchange of information took place on apps used by high school students including but not limited to Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Principal Carter could not comment on exactly what happened because the incident is still under investigation. So I asked her about the general protocol for shelter in place and how it fits into the Alice drill. So the shelter in place protocol, um, the expectation is that all doors should be closed and locked um, in that students and staff should stay put in that designated location until they hear an additional announcement that would happen over the PA or potentially an email communication that gets sent out. But the expectation is that learning is still supposed to take place during that time frame. Um, and obviously depending on the circumstance would dictate how long we stay in shelter in place. And there is a difference between shelter in place and lockdown. Lockdown is where you then incorporate the ALICE protocol of um, you know, double checking your doors, making sure that it's locked, turning your lights off, uh, barricading the room, um, distracting an intruder if, if he, she, or they enters into the space, and obviously evacuate. The school should be a safe environment. Why am I talking about this? Principal Carter explained it better. If you see something, you say something. Um, this is your high school just as much as it is mine. Uh, we love this space. We take pride in making sure that it is a safe, secure, uh, conducive environment to learn. And so um, I just want to charge every single Wildcat if you see something to say something in the future. Thank you to Principal Carter for making room in her busy schedule for the interview. If and when further information becomes public, best believe I will do a story about it. For now, this is Neil signing off. Ever wondered more about the Cat's Eye crew? Introducing the Cat's Eye View. For the first episode of the Cat's Eye View, we're going to interview some of our crew members. Now let's meet the members Ben C and Jaden. What's your favorite part of Cat's Eye News? Probably got to be like in the back room working with my friends because I just think it's a ton of fun. What type of content do you like to record? I kind of like recording a lot of different things, especially the closers, but if there's really like any story, then I just like to record it and I want to have fun with it. So what's the story behind the closers? Me and Jaden work on the closers together. It kind of adds humor to the broadcast and I think that's pretty crucial to it. What type of segments do you like to film the most? Uh, I mean right now, as far as I remember, I think I only did outros so far, so yeah, outros I guess, that's the only thing I did. Speaking of your outros, what's the story behind those? Oh, that's just my natural camera voice, you know, it just like stands out a bit. Thanks for watching Novi, stay tuned next week for more interviews from our crew.
Hey Wildcats, thanks for tuning in on your Cat's Eyes News. We will see you tomorrow for more updates.